Hello everyone, this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review and today I'm going to show you how you can patch an attachment from a Power App into a SharePoint list. Now this is a quite specific situation that you would need to use this but I have had to use this several times so I just thought I'd do a quick video on it but as you can see we've got a form here, I've got a button which will patch the attachment and I've already set up a SharePoint list here and what we're going to do is we're just going to patch that attachment and connect to the SharePoint to the SharePoint list item with some text in the title field. Now, what we're going to do is if I just quickly attach a document, so I'll attach this test document to this form here, and then I'll just show you what we've got on the patch attachment. So on the on select, we've got our patch. Uh, we've got the data source that we're going to connect to. I've already connected to that SharePoint list. If you don't know how to connect to a SharePoint list, I've got a link to a video in the description of this video and that will show you how to do that but basically we've got our test list i'm using the default value of the test list so that's going to create a new record you could still also do a filter if you wanted to pass an existing record in this example we're just doing it as a new record i've got a title so i'm just going to call that testing patch and then at the end of your curly brackets you got what you want to do is put a comma and then you want to put form dot updates now ours is called form one you want to refer to the form that has got the attachment attached to it, which you want to take. But this is the code here that puts that attachment into the SharePoint list. So let's just test this. Now, if I just run this and click patch attachment, you could see that was loading there. If I now just go to the SharePoint list, I'll refresh this. There you can see, so now that's created that record called testing patch. And there you can see it's attached that test document to that SharePoint list item. Uh, I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe to the channel and take care. Thank you.